Today we're going to be looking at searching in ePrints, um, some issues that you might find with searching, um, looking at configuration of existing searches, and also configuring a brand new search form. So let's start with um, a brand new repository. We've installed it. Um, we've imported the test data, so you can see the test data here. Um, and let's try running a search, and we're immediately going to run into a problem. So we come up with an internal server error. Now, your first stop when you run into problems with searching is the, uh, the search indexer. So we can check We can check the search indexer uh, through the admin interface under status. So we can see we get this big warning at the top. But we also say the search index of the status is stopped and the uh, background task queue is one of a higher, 1,061 tasks. Now, the background task queue, um, it used to just be called the indexer, and, and it used to just do search indexing, but then there are a lot more things it does now, things like creating thumbnails and other, other things that happen in the background. So let's take a quick look at that, and you can see that we have a lot of um, indexing queued up waiting. So let's go ahead and start the indexer. Now, interesting, the, but the, just for a little bit more background, the reason um, let's take a look at the error log to see exactly what the error uh, uh, was that came out. Uh, let's Another search, and we can see that the latest line is was exception couldn't couldn't stat couldn't find the database the Zapien database file. Now the reason for this is this is a fresh install of ePrints, so and when the indexer starts up, it will create the the Zapien file. There should be some code. There is a bug report about this in in GitHub. But let's start the server. Uh, sorry, start the indexer. So we've started the indexer. And then when we go to status, we will see that this 1066 should be kind of decreasing. So if we refresh the page, we see 1050, 1033. Now, if we go back to oops, manage deposits, you see here tortoises. So let's do a search for tortoises. And it hasn't come up with anything. And the reason for this is because it's still working through the index, trying to find, uh, uh, trying to create this reverse index, and this item hasn't yet been uh, been indexed. Now, while while the, the indexer works through the things it's got to do, let's take a look at the search configuration. So we have, by default, two searches, two public searches configured in ePrints. The, the simple search, which is used in both these places, uh, which is kind of a one box searching multiple fields, and the advanced search, which is um, searching for values in specific fields. So let's take a look at the configuration for this. Let's have a quick look in at the status of the indexer on 876. So the two files we want to look at is ePrint Search Advanced and ePrint Search Simple. This is where the fields, uh, where, where the searches are defined. So here we have um, the simple search configuration, search simple. There's nothing special about this simple. This defines the URL that these searches appear at. If we look at the advanced search and the simple search, we have this URL here with the word simple, which is quite simply the, the name of the, of the search configuration. So we can define which fields. So 
this search field defines the the kind of the search boxes, the input boxes that will um, that will appear in the search form. And so the first search field is only one in the simple search, and that is searching documents, title, abstract, creator's name, and date. So if we let's let's uh, have a look at the advanced search. Now, this has search fields. This has just a, a single entry in search fields for each field that we want in the form. Now, where we have multiple fields, we need to define an ID that gets passed through. And indeed, if we look at the simple search, this search form, uh, the, 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 the search form component, the ID of this input form is Q. Uh, whereas if we look at the advanced search, the ID of this input ID is title, which is the name of the field. So if it's a single field, it just takes on the, the ID of the field itself. But if you're using multiple fields in one box, you should give it a, a, an ID. So let's go and edit the configuration for this. Let's add a field. Let's add, um, what shall we add? Well, let's take a look at what fields we have. Um, so we can view all of them. Let's add, I don't know, date stamp, the date deposited. Save that, and we need to, if you notice the advanced search, it won't appear straight away. Let's refresh this. Because it's a .pl configuration file, these don't get uh, loaded automatically. So let's reload the configuration, and we should now get date deposited field appeared here. We have a help because it's a date type, it gets the, the, the default date. Now what if we let's check up on the the search indexer. So now if we search for tortoises we get some results. So, um, as I said before, any issues with searching, the first, the first, uh, first port of call is to check on your search indexer. Now, we've, we've looked at, uh, so, so now we've added a field to a search. Let's look at creating a new search. So, we're going to create a new file. We're going to call it we give it X so it appears at the bottom of the list. Also, so it makes it easy to, to identify this is one um, that, that we've created. And let's say we just want to have a department uh, division search. And let's copy across the simple search. Search fields. Divisions. Let's 
give it a preamble. We won't actually, we've covered creating phrases in a number of videos. Citation is result citation, page size 20. Let's just leave and we'll save changes. And we'll reload the configuration. So now we should have. So as you can see, we have our title not defined. We have our, uh, our preamble not defined. So let's just go ahead and quickly add those. And then we can go back and we have our we have a couple of phrases now inserted in here. And I don't know if, if this this data has it. Oh there we go. We have one that has some division set. So there we have created uh, a new search. So we've we've um, we've done a little bit of troubleshooting on some odd search behavior. We have added a new field to the advanced search, and we have uh, created a new search. So that's uh, that's what I wanted to cover today.